Welcome back to another sushi video recipe. My name is David DeVoe and today I'm going to show you guys something quite special. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this recipe what you're going to do is you're going to make smooth cuts of salmon and tuna. You want them to be more or less five fingers long. So just cut the pieces of fish at the required length. About so. All right, so five fingers for me is about 10 centimeters, which is 2.5 inches. There we go. And now basically you just want to create some nice, smooth, long pieces of sashimi. There we go. Beautiful. So just drag your knife through it. If your knife isn't sharp enough to do it, then you can sharpen it or you can buy one of these amazing knives. You can check out my store, link is just appeared on the top left corner. And there you can see everything about sharpening the knife and also buying one of these. Okay, so just a couple of cuts we need of each. Some of salmon and then some of tuna. Now here the, the piece of tuna is extruding a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just do one little cut just to make it all even. And this can be used for the tartare later. Don't worry about it. No, nothing goes to waste here. And you just want it to be reasonably thin, not too thin, because they are going to go round like a roll, so... Okay, beautiful. There we go. Alright, so you simply take a little piece of rice. You want it to be quite small because you don't want it to go over the top. Like so. Okay, then you take a slice of avocado. Put it round, taking care to put the green line on the top. This gives it a nice aesthetic look when it's finished. Now you wrap it in your fish. This one's salmon. Okay. Perfect. All right, and now add a very thin strip of nori seaweed paper just to keep it all together. Okay, now make the tuna one. Again, a very small bowl of rice, not too big. Then add your strip of avocado, very thinly sliced. Just round with the dark green part on top. And then add your piece of fish. This one's gonna be tuna. Just wrap it round, lightly, perfect. I just press the rice a little bit deeper. Good. And now to keep it all together, a very thin strip of nori seaweed paper. Make it thin, don't make it too big. Okay, and just wrap it around. I find the thinner they are, the more pretty they look, so. Now set to one side and make the tartare. Now to make some salmon and tuna tartare, all you need is a little off cuts of tuna and the salmon that you had before, and just simply Chop it extremely fine. Just like so. There we go. Once you've done the main chop, just turn around. And then just do another rough chop. All right, perfect. So that's the tuna. Wipe your knife off. And then the salmon. So just chop it up into nice fine little tartare. There we go, beautiful. All right, once you've chopped it up, transfer it over to some bowls, just like so. Add a little bit of sriracha sauce. I prefer this make. Uh, I've tried a lot of other ones and this one's the best. So just a tiny little bit of that. A very small dash of soya sauce. Add a squirt of lime juice, just to give it a little kick. Okay, and then some chopped chives. All right, perfect. Now just mix. Beautiful. 
Okay, so now just squish the rice a little bit deeper if it's coming out too far. You want to be able to really heap this stuff. Okay, so with the tuna one, I'm going to put the salmon. Just like so. There we go. Okay, beautiful. And then with the salmon one, I'm gonna put the tuna on top. Just gives it a beautiful contrast of colors. Like to mix it up. Okay, so just add some of the spicy tuna tartare. Beautiful. And then you just finish it off a little bit of chopped chives on top. There we go. Very little goes a long way with this. Voila, finito. I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are delicious and they're ready to eat like this. If you want, you can dip them in a little bit of uh, soya sauce with wasabi, but I mean, they are already seasoned and they got a little bit of spice to it. So you can just eat them like so. Thank you for watching another one of my sushi videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it as I did making it. And just if you want to see more of my sushi videos, I make them every week and you can do so by subscribing to my channel on the top left corner of your screen. And if you want to see more of my videos right this second because you're that excited about it, then just click on the right and you can see all my other videos. Thank you for watching. I appreciate Facebook shares and likes and comments. Just go crazy. Bye. Goodbye.